grab my whiskey until we uh, before we go on to the next question here. Hmm. Take a little sip. <laughs> I'm really liking that. What's it called again? Are they baller. Saint baller. George? All right. So question number I don't know. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh. I want to say it's not. It's not a sandwich. Why is that? Why Why do you say that? I, I, there's no right answer or wrong, even though I have it written down, yes, it is. Um, I, I see. I, I can see that argument. Like, I yeah. can see why it is. But to me, mm. a sandwich tends to have two separated pieces of bread. Yeah. yeah. I can um, get that. Even though Subway doesn't. Yeah. They have the flappy bread. Yeah. yeah. It's a little flappy. But, yeah. you know, then again, a lot of times I've had a hot dog. Like a sub, yeah. yeah. A lot of times I've had a hot dog where the bun separated. So That's then, true. So then it turns yeah. into a sandwich. See, see I can see the <laughs> argument for it being for, a sandwich. For yeah. or against, yeah. yeah. So let us know what you think. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Just depends if you have the right type of buns that stay together. <laughs> yeah, you got to let your bun stay together when there's spread, a hot dog in it. not spread open. You can't spread yeah. those, those buns. Yeah, when there's a hot dog on its way. Okay. The craziest alcohol you know of. And so when I say this in mind, I think of that 180 proof beer that comes out of Switzerland, I think it is. Absinthe? Absinthe? Not absinthe. I'd, I'd have to say that's a great answer. Absinthe is probably a crazy one. Um, right? You have you guys heard of Everclear? Yes. yes. That's Oh my gosh. Okay, so That's ridiculous. What's the what's the highest Everclear you had cuz they vary from state to state? Yeah, I think it's California will only allow up to a certain amount. I think I've seen the 180 proof. Okay, I've had yeah, I've had the one I have I've had the 190. What, absinthe? No, no Everclear. Everclear out of, oh, okay, out of okay. Texas. It's moonshine essentially. My right? old my old roommate pure grain spirit, yeah. brought it back from Texas and made us all take a shot. It's, you can go blind this, from it, right? It's this brutal. oh my gosh, dude. I had the I've had the taste in my throat and my mouth for like 3 or 4 hours after one shot. Yeah, it's brutal. Like, yeah. White lightning. That's what they call it, right? Yeah. In the south. It's not a fun experience. It's gross. No, I don't know. I don't know what would compel anybody to drink that on a regular. It's a mixer. It's yeah. a mixer for sure. It would have to be a mixer. Yeah. I'd like to sit in a room full of hillbillies and then take some Everclear and then smell it, wash my palate a little. So it's got a nutty taste to it and see what they say, you know. <laughs> right? <laughs> taste you know? it like it's, you know, a fine spirit. Yeah, right? <laughs> a fine spirit. What do you think a hillbilly would say to that? probably to look at you and not know what to say to you i i think he would say nobody's fucking my sister but me <laughs> is what i thought he would say that's not a question on here by the way okay so if you're trapped on a deserted island and in these scenarios you lost your pants so you have no pants so you have this fear obviously of crabs if you're like waiting around i mean the big crabs um which alcohol would you want? And the two questions to start are rum or rubbing alcohol? Rum. Okay, because you can still clean something. That's a correct answer. Now, <laughs> in the spectrum of alcohol, what alcohol would you want? Um, you can say beer. I know you're a beer connoisseur. I am. That's actually your forte. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, Didn't beer, I know. Beer is what I, I... I was in San Diego for about eight years and went through the whole craft thing there. Mm. Okay. I can't do the cheap stuff anymore. Like mm. I've I've got I've gotten to the point where if you don't like beer, I can probably find you a beer you're going to like. Mm. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to do that on another. We had Bruise and Cues podcast on here once. Sounds like we need Brian and then we need Brian and Bruise and Cues. That would be kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I I'd, I'd probably say a good beer. Um That's what you say. If it was a spirit, yeah, if it was a spirit, I'd say tequila. Okay. Ooh, really? But, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Gin, gin being a close second. I've been really a huge fan of gin over the past year and a half. What's the allure of gin? I know it seems to me like... It's the botanicals that they use. What is it? Uh, do you drink it straight or mixed? Uh, I've done it straight. Um, good tonic, sometimes good. But if you prefer a club club soda, mm. if you want to watch those calories, you can definitely do that too. So what do you when you're sipping gin, are you sipping it straight or are you mixing it? Straight. 
um, or sometimes with like club soda, just because I like the taste. What What are your um, so I have favorite a, gins? A huge fan of Hendrix because it's a cucumber forward botanicals that they use. Now they have two, right? They have a few. They have a few. Yeah. Okay, I've seen two. I've tried one. Yeah, which one did you try? I think just the regular one. Yeah, they have yeah. other ones where like they have Orbium, which used like I think it was wormwood. Um, wormwood is has thujone, which is what you use in absinthe. Yeah, it okay, does. Okay, yeah. so it had some like absinthe qualities to it, but no hallucinogenics. No, I was fine with that. That was, sucks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's cool. <laughs> I mean, if you're looking for that, I'd say just go straight for the absinthe. Yeah, go straight to Spain. Yeah, because you can't find it here. You can find some here, but they're not. Can the you find some? Yeah, you can find absinthe. So here. we need to try that. You need to find us some. Yeah, yeah is what, like, what, what what I meant. We can probably find. <laughs> they're they're not huge bottles. They're like three seventy fives. Are they hallucinogenic? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you didn't even seem to be bothered by missing your pants on the deserted island, which is cool. Yeah. Hey, you're gonna find something to cover yourself up with. Yeah. Oh. Gotta be resourceful. That. Man's got his gin, man. Yeah, yeah, he's got his gin. Yeah, very refined. So, next question. Question number, I don't know. Is a cereal a soup? <laughs> a cold soup, I guess. Yeah. What do they call that? Gazpacho? I'm not sure. Cold, is that what it's called? Cold, 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 cold soup, soup is gazpacho? I think so. So, is the. I I'm say sorry. It's Argentinian. Let, let me reframe my question. Is a cereal as gazpacho? Same I answer. Mean, yeah. Yeah. I, okay. yeah. Huh. I never thought of it that way. Huh. All right. Now, this is a scenario question. So, you're in a bar, and you're sitting there, and you look over onto the stool next to you. There's a genie lamp. You rub the lamp, and out comes a genie, right? It's like, hey, man, because that's what the genie you know. I like the Robin Williams version. Hey of man, the, of the genie, you get one wish, right? And you're like, oh, well, let me think about it. So you start to think about your wish, right? You, I seen you up and to the right, so you're already thinking about it, right? And uh, and and then a priest, a rabbi, and a hooker walk in <laughs> to the bar, and they all begin to gang rape you, which the bartender just lets it go on. This is evidently a normal thing, right? <laughs> Would you use your wish for to stop them, or would you wish for Jeff Bezos' money? Is the question. Ooh, well, that was a tangent. That yeah. was a tangent. Because uh, you have a choice now, and the fact that you, you seem like a solid individual in the fact that you're thinking about this, because I would have just let you know what my answer is, which is the correct answer, by the way. My answer is, uh, I'm wishing for the Jeff Bezos money, and I'm going to make the best out of this situation, because when's the next time you're going to get to fuck a priest, a rabbi, and a hooker? <laughs> you know what I mean? And like she's like calling out the shots. Put your finger in his butt. And I'm like, okay. Like Simon says, or you know what I mean? Like, See, that, like, then it's consensual. It becomes consensual once you have a genie in a lamp. Yeah. Almost everything is. Once you become a billionaire, you have to fuck a dude. That's already not even in the... <laughs> there's no question. You just have to fuck a dude. There's not... You don't have to like it. You just have to go about it like as if having a, a cup of see, coffee. Do you, think, do you think 100% of billionaires have done that? Yeah, 100%. Oh, 110%. Oh. All billionaires. Take on the billionaires. Yeah, all of them. Even see, Warren. So if you're a billionaire and you want to debunk this, comment. Yeah, leave a comment. <laughs> and you're lying if you do. And, and You're like, oh, I never fucked a dude. Yeah, you're not a billionaire. And leave a tip. So the que question to be remain to be uh, answered. I mean, it's already is, in the process, so you can't say it didn't happen. You've already been fucked, so you're going for the Bezos money. Yeah. Okay. So and you just Bezos sit there. Bezos money is gonna set me for life. Yeah, you can you can come back with a vengeance. Yeah. Like you wait in that bar every day or whatever, and, and then just have a camera be. crew come out and then make some money on that <laughs> just for the hell of it. All right. Cool. That was actually the correct answer. It's part of how Bezos got his money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he got started. Yeah. Okay. Um, he chose the Bezos money. <laughs> yeah, right? He was sitting in there and all of a sudden a genie lamp and then a priest, like, a rabbi, and a, and a yeah. hooker. He's like, it's my money now. Yeah. Hey, speaking of which, you know how much he paid 
well, hasn't gone hasn't went down yet, but he's supposed to be going into low orbit. Him and his brother, and there was one more ticket that was sold recently for like twenty seven million dollars. Nice. So, and I think the flight is like less than fifteen minutes. That's a lot of money. That is. Did you break that down to the minute? I did not. I just know it's a lot. Yeah, I know they. I forgot what the name of the company is, but there's a company that's trying to take some civilians out into orbit. Probably Russia. No, it's an American-based company. It's not Elon Musk. Oh, like I think it's Virgin, a- Virgin Atlantic, like their their space program. It hmm. might be. I think they, they pay for an extra ticket. Just do a GoFundMe and send all the flat earthers on this little thing. That'd be great. Just so they can just stop for a minute. Yeah. Learn some science. <laughs> Just Science. send that one, that one flat earther. Did you see him when he? You can't both... send just one because the other. No, one no. Did you see? Him. You just see the one. Well, actually, I think he might have died. There was one that tried to launch himself with his own rocket. Yeah, I've heard of that one. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I think he, I think he might have survived the first one, but died on the second uh, try uh, or some shit. That's funny. That sucks. It's crazy. It's hard to That's, lose a flat earther. Hey, that's commitment, though, man. Yeah. I mean, he's dying for his cause. Yeah, for sure. A lot of people have died for causes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. There's a lot of causes out there. Yeah. All right. We're so here's. For Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, right. Has anybody. People had to have died looking for Bigfoot. Oh, yeah. By Bigfoot. He actually killed them. So you're looking for me, chump? And it was like. Bah. Didn't yeah, really tell about it. it. Stabbed him. It was like, nah, nah. Kept his so, identity. So here's a cause right here and a question. Question number eight. I don't actually know. I just said that. Uh, a simple question you've been asked before. So, ass or titties or feet? Ass. Nice. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Steve? Mm, that's a hard one, man. Uh, sounds we'll like a move feet on guy. then. Times James. have changed, man. The, yeah. the time we're living through now is ass. But if you look at the time. 80s, ass was not even a thing. No, no. I don't know, man. You know, but the time when when, we when right did uh, Sir Mix-a-Lot Baby Got Back come out? It was the 90s. That was like early 90s. That was the turn where he was like, we like this. You should try it. Yeah. And then everybody was like, I'm going to try that. And, and it works. Yeah. See, because yeah. most, most of the time if there's ass, mm. it doesn't mean, you know, it's just fat. Like yeah. it could be muscle. Like yeah. there's a lot more diversity there. I, I like a fat there, ass. There though. is. I, I like a you know I like a little mixture, but you know yeah. I, can, I, I don't I know. I like man. Kobe ass. Like if I look at if I'm looking mm-hmm. at Kardashian ass, that's just that's fake. That's ugly. See, but that's fake. I'm, I'm talking it natural. Is, but it's just ugly. Well, I'm See, talking about the CrossFit chicks. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking okay. about natural Waters. stuff. Yeah. yeah. I like even then. I like a girl that walks a lot but doesn't exercise. That type of ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> she gets her steps in, but she's not like. I want a little fat. There. I want that Kobe marbled beef. <laughs> you know, it's like you see the fat. There's a little bit. I want a little bit of cellulite. A little marbling. Yeah. yeah do you, you ever remember that infomercial back in, she's probably like 20 With years Suzanne ago. With Suzanne Summers? No, no, not the Thigh Master. Okay. Okay. Well, that, that was pretty good too. Yeah. But there was one that focused on the Brazilian butt. It's like Brazilians have the most amazing asses. And there was an infomercial for a workout video that would supposedly guarantee that you would get that, that, that lift, that that butt where you can tuck a pencil in the crease and it would stay. Yeah. That was pretty dope. Well, for the pencil, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a number two pencil because you put it in the butt. <laughs> where number two comes out. about Columbia. Uh, they're known for oh, their ladies Columbia, having yeah. nice asses. Yeah. And it's because yeah. the way the, the landscape is, they had to travel up and down hills. Mm. Oh. But now that transportation is getting better, uh, they're losing they're their losing asses. They're losing huh? Is the ass leaving or is the ass dropping? <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah, I need to know. It's a great question. We need oh, to find a Colombian. Or a Panamanian. Some, yeah, I got some coffee questions for him too. Okay, so here here's a hard coffee, one. Coffee, sure. This is a two-parter question. Have you seen The Crying Game? Or do you, do you know what the story is? No. So The Crying Game is... A man who is looking for love, never For- really finds it. Forrest Whitaker. Played by Forrest Whitaker. And he finds a woman that he falls in love with and come to find out is a dude. And then still loves her. Him. Herm. Does he? Because there was a scene where he just threw up and 
I don't know. I didn't watch it. I'm just saying. <laughs> so that brings us to this next question. Hot ass lady boy or Forrest Whitaker? <laughs> this is a hard one. Yeah. You could say no you homo. Can t- you can take if you a want. pass. <laughs> no, there's no pass, but <laughs> you, you could say no homo and that's the pass and then you answer. We'll accept both as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Forrest Whitaker is not a great looking dude. <laughs> yeah, right. So it seems like a simple question. Yeah. Right? You're taking too long on this. No, it's just it's just funny that it went from from Lady Boy to uh, Forrest Whitaker. Yeah, like that's yeah. that's just such a disconnect. Well, I don't know. You got for you got Forrest Whitaker in um, was it Fast Times at Ridgemont so High? So hold on, he's selling <laughs> Forrest Whitaker now. Yeah, versus I get that. versus. Yeah. Um, so you're a Forrest Whitaker man. Yourself. Versus what was his character the in young, Star Wars? Young Forrest Whitaker. He's into him. So, so prime for us. Yeah, like the football star he's gone for. Yeah. That's funny. Driving uh, the Trans Am, I think. What about, what was he, um, so is that Ninja what Samurai? Or? No, you can't do that, Stevie. It's got to be current day for us, <laughs> yeah. Whitaker. Yeah, you have to go yeah, with. Like, just like, like Star Wars for us, yeah. Whitaker. He, he yeah. wants the young John Travolta is what he wants. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> but wouldn't you, you would take the young Stallone over old Stallone? Probably. Okay. All right, you're shallow. I get that. Stevie's got a type, man. Yeah. He's got he he likes them young. Yeah, he does. Evidently, <laughs> he likes his guys young. So, Lady Boy. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's a simple question. <laughs> no, I, I just I still am astounded that we went from that to to Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker, yeah. yeah. Well, he's in the crane game. Yeah. Yeah, and plus he has a lot of money. He could have. It's kind of like the genie in the lamp question. You kind of. A lady boy, but you're will, just. But, but will you get it? That's the real question. I don't know. I don't you got to work for it. You got to sell it. But still, you're gonna have to sell it. Like you're gonna have to For- smile Forrest at him Whitaker while you're all smart. yum yum. <laughs> Forrest Whitaker seems smart. He is smart. Yeah, he's so. he might see through. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it'd be that easy for you to pull that. It off. depends on your poker face. I mean, poke him face. <laughs> <laughs> if you can look like it's enjoyable, I guess I don't know. You never know. Forrest Whitaker, if you're out there, leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the Primo <laughs> Day. And tell us what you would you go for, Brian. Is that cool? And, and even if he doesn't sell it, because he's not going to sell it. It's, <laughs> it's very hard. It's very hard to sell that. And uh, last question was, actually, that was the last question. I don't know why we ended with that one. That was kind of weird. That, that was a... Uh... Interesting yeah. one to finish off how, on. Well, how about yeah. this? How about if Steve's got a question? If you were an animal, what would it be and why? Okay. That's a great one. Mythical creatures are acceptable as well. Yeah, so you can Mythical. say unicorn or dragon. See, I'd still probably lean towards. Probably lean towards a fox. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Smart animals. Mm. They're quick. They're slick. Yeah. What does the fox say? Went, went, went. Very cool. So thanks for joining us, Brian. Dude, the Thank whiskey was me. awesome. I love that last one. If you're looking for a good bottle, Brian suggests suggest. Uh, wine and more. What was the two whiskeys that you were going to be trapped on? There? The tequilas or the whiskeys? Let's go with the whiskeys. Uh, whiskeys. Um, if you can find the Macallan edition, yeah, it's, it's about a eighty, seventy, eighty dollar bottle, I believe. Okay. Um, that one's they they change the recipe a bit every time, but it's been consistent over. I had the three and the five, I believe. Those were okay. really good. Um. I'm a big fan of Slane's if you want to try an Irish that isn't Jameson. Yeah. Um, uh, if you can find Hibiki Harmony, mm. that's my favorite Japanese blend. Can you get that out of wine and more or no? If you can find it, it's yeah. really hard to find right now. Hibiki um, Harmony. Yes. Okay. Hibiki Harmony. Yeah. Um, that would, those would probably be the ones I'd say. Yeah, it's cool. Like a Scotch Japanese and then a, a, a good Irish that I enjoy, like that's not too expensive. Because red breast is amazing to me. Um, I liked it. We yeah. tried it the other Father's Day. I don't Day. always have the money to buy the red breast. I think it's a sixty dollar bottle. It's not, yeah, it's not crazy expensive, but I yeah. end up spending those sixty dollars on tequila. Yeah. So, 
I, I, I choose it. tequila over the the whiskey most of the times. That was a good good uh, good taste. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for joining. Primo Dirt, like, subscribe, comment. Tell us what your favorite whiskey is. Tell us if uh, you were just stranded on a deserted island, a priest, a rabbi, and a hooker were there, and they're raping you, and you had a genie's lamp. Would you wish for Jeff Bezos' money, or a lady boy, or Forrest Whitaker? And Stevie, let's end with your words of wisdom. And we're going to, you know, I, I mean, I had a talk with corporate and Scott, who's doing all the editing, and I told him, stop effing and i said the word effing mm. with um steve's words of wisdom because he thinks it's funny and it's not funny the joke is getting old we need to hear what you have to say the world needs to know what does stevie have to say mm. so what do you have to tell the viewers of the primo dirt primo dirt primo dirt i wasn't ready he wasn't ready. There it is. Thank you for listening to the Primo Dirt Podcast. Words of wisdom, he wasn't ready. <laughs> the altar, she supposed. And on it was Hector. Is the throne empty? Is the king dead? The empire unpossessed? Off with his head. You got me going in circles.